Hey guys, um, I am out here freezing. I wanted to bring you along while I do some chores. This is not gonna be any kind of fancy video. Um, hopefully I can do it all in just one take. But, I went ahead and opened up the chicken coop and I'm getting their feed ready. It is 15 degrees right now. Feels like four, according to my phone. And boy, oh boy, it feels like four. Just gonna mix their food. I already gave them some kitchen scraps, but now I just have a bucket of grains and laying pellets. So I'm gonna take you inside the coop with me. I'm not gonna stay out here for too long. I wanna get their coop closed back up. Um, because it is a huge windbreak. They're kind of on an open hill back here and everything just blows this way. I'm not an architect, so yeah, you can blame my poor design. I have my little rooster friend. He's, uh, let's see, they were born in May, so He's about seven months old now. He still doesn't know what to think of me, but that's okay. And unfortunately, I'm sure I'm giving you guys lots of great angles. Um, here's a great example. Unfortunately, I've only been getting a couple eggs a day. I know chickens lay a lot less um, in the winter time. However, the eggs that I have been getting, I'm probably just not coming out early enough. It's um, about 9.30 right now. But it's been so darn cold that the eggs are exploding before I'm getting to them. So, how frustrating. Today, I only have two eggs that weren't exploded. Um, and that's okay. Sorry, it's getting real windy out here. Um, that's okay, we don't eat like a ton of eggs to begin with. But you know, the eggs that, that we do have, I want them to be okay. Now I just have to get some water for them. My hands are already freezing. But when I have these thoughts, I'm like, okay, well, they have to deal with a lot more cold than I have to, so like I can suck it up for 10 minutes while I take care of them in the morning. <clears throat> I'm getting to the point now where I've pretty much ran out of watering buckets. Um, so I'm like trying to use whatever I can because every single day it's freezing. I have my, my hose bib right here, which you can see is frozen down to the ground. I can't even get it open, so we're going to have to go in the house and get some decent water for them. It'll give my hands a chance to warm up. Um, they're eating and happy now though, so that's good. But anyway, yeah, it's been really crappy here in Virginia because we've had a weird little cold spell thing coming through and like I do have a heat lamp for them. If anyone watches this that has chickens, you can comment and tell me. I really wanted to put it in, in the coop, but then I've heard horror stories about, um, you know, people's troughs and um, coops and entire buildings catching on fire. I'm sorry, these angles are really great. I got some warm water though. Um, but anyway, I've heard stories about things catching on fire. I have just the basic red heat lamps from Tractor Supply. So, you can tell me what you think. Um, I just haven't used them. I do have greenhouse fabric in this coop. So, <clears throat> and then I have a medium duty tarp on that so 
I would assume that I'm probably rated at like, I don't know, a six or seven as far as the, the thickness and warmth and all of that. So I feel pretty good about that. Here's some of the ladies here. You can see, here's um, some of my buckets that have just frozen over and I'm just, I don't even know, I'm just gonna leave them there. And hopefully they melt. This cold snap I think is supposed to be done by next week, today's Friday. So I hope it's only a couple more days of this because I can't take much more. <clears throat> And I feel bad for these guys out here that have to live in it 24 seven. Like I've been out here for, I've been recording for six minutes now and I'm like, I'm already broken. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. I gotta tie up all this stuff and get them closed back in and warm. Um, but thanks for watching and I'll make another video soon. Bye.